Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be looking at, uh, finally, a user suggested uh, tutorial. I haven't been able to get around to it until now. Uh, a lot of other important things that I would have found that people would have been using a lot more. And this is kind of relevant to the trees that we were working on in the last video. Um, basically what you can do with leaves um, is change the texture of it based on what biome you're in. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I'll leave the link to their channel and the name of the person that suggested it uh, in the descriptions. So definitely check out the channel when you have some time. All right, so uh, it's basically just using a procedure, uh, a default block state that you're gonna be using. In this case, uh, we're using the same template that we did uh, for the growable sapling, so we're going to be using that. And uh, this was the base uh, leaves that we're basically generating, so we're going to be building onto this to basically test for what biome we're going to be, um, what, what biome it's in, and then from that we're going to basically update the leaf if it's the right correct biome. So the procedure is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not too complicated. Um, right here, uh, we've created an if statement. So that's just going into logics and loops, creating an if statement. And then I've added a uh, just the light blue operator, and I've added an or statement like this. And I've done that a couple times. So I've also done that. And it's something like this. So. What after that, I've added uh, just the desert particular biomes. So this basically is testing if it's in a desert, desert hills, or a mutated desert, which I don't know if it's uh, the red desert or not. It might be the red desert. I can't really remember uh, the mutated. It's not very descriptive of what kind of biome it is. So it's a whatever mutated version of the regular desert so uh, any of these that the uh, leaves are in it will remove the block and then immediately place the new block down so it will change the basically the block state so that's all there is to it uh, like I said it's pretty straightforward and uh, let's hop into uh, well we'll wait for this to compile and we'll hop into the uh, game there and we'll test it out. And I'll do a showcase on how it all works and everything like that. I will be providing the zip file for the procedure, the textures, and the workspace uh, for this pr particular project that I worked on in on my website, uh, like I did with the um, what was it the global saplings tutorial it's uh uses um, the member system where you have to be a member in order to download it but membership's completely free so you don't need to worry about that um just sign up to my website become a member and uh, you'll have access to even more areas on the uh, website as well so uh yeah that's um just wanted to make that note all right, so welcome back in game, and we are now near a desert. It is a small desert, but it's still uh, a desert. So I actually flew around in Spectator uh, when I was trying to find this desert because, of course, when I'm actually looking for a specific biome, it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> but when I actually don't need the biome, it's always there. So it, it's it's kind of funny that I actually had to fly quite a bit of distance to find that. And there's a village over there. I didn't notice that before. How about that? All right, so as you can see here, uh, this is the tree that I create that, that uh, growable sapling from. So basically what I did was I just grew it on the biome edge. And as you can see, the default blocks are right here. And the ones that are in the actual desert, as you can see, this is desert here, are a different color. And uh, that's pretty much all there is. What's happening with this is when it's getting added to the, um, by the block, 
so when the sapling grows it basically places the block so it's being added so when it's being tested when it's added it basically goes okay is it a desert biome or is it any other biome and if it's any other biome then it does this texture if it's a desert biome then it does this texture or basically replaces the block with um, whatever it needs to but um, let's just show you how I've set the procedure up in the leaves so if we go over to procedures and then click on uh, when block added and I've just selected the um, the biome leaf right here so that's basically all I've done so when block added uh, that will work with saplings and the growable tree um, um, you might be able to get away with uh, when block placed by I'm not sure if that will be specific to players or certain blocks but um, that might be another option, but I know that when block added will definitely work with saplings. Um, update ticks, you don't really want to do an update tick because that will have to be on a time delay and it's not really what you want to go for when you're actually loading the block. So that's why I went with um, when block added. Uh, Outside of that, I don't think there's any really other option to... Like, there's a random tick update, which is based on the um, player side, as it says. I think it says here. It's like player side. But um, that's not really what you want either, because you want it to happen instantly. So um, that's why I went with that. But outside of that, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. Next video, we're going to be looking at uh, another user um, or community uh, suggestion, which is a writable mob. So we'll be doing that next. And I'm um, going to be creating a pretty cool texture, hopefully, uh, for the tutorial. And we're going to be writing something interesting. So definitely tune in that for that next week. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and peace out.